5G and edge computing bring with them tremendous promise, but many of the technologies are difficult to understand. With this in mind, Arna Networks brings you a series of tech talks in which we will interview our subject matter experts who will explain these technologies in easy to understand terms. Hi, Jacob. How are you? Hi, Palomi. I'm good. How are you? Yeah, I'm doing good as well. All right. Uh, so as you know, today you are our subject matter expert and uh, I, uh, on behalf of Arna Networks, would be interviewing you. Uh, and okay. we would uh, discuss more about NWDAF. Okay, and sure. NWDAF. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. So, uh, Jacob, what is NWDAF? What is the definition of NWDAF exactly? So, NWDAF stands for Network Data Analytics Function. So, it is basically a 3GPP standard that defines a set of protocols and interfaces for supporting artificial intelligence and machine learning in network systems. Okay, so we understand that. Like we have a very complex network, so there might be um, might be multiple problems in this, you know, disaggregated network architecture. So what problem is NWDF solving exactly? Yeah, so as you mentioned, a network system is very complex system. So it is possible to use uh, the advances in artificial intelligence and machine learning in network system to improve the efficiency of the system. So this could be uh, from automatically handling the failures to maybe the optimizing the system performance or uh, system uh, bandwidth uh, allocation or improving the overall usage experience uh, in some way. So application of uh, artificial intelligence in network system is countless. But it means that a network system should be able to do functionalities related to data analytics, like collecting and storing data, providing a way for other uh, network functions to access the uh, inference service uh, to get the prediction or statistics. And to some extent uh, to do the model training. Uh, so 3GPP uh, tries to uh, solve this by providing a standard interface for data analytics functionalities. Hmm. Got it. Uh, so can, uh, can you tell us like how NWDF is solving this problem? Okay. Uh, so to understand how this is solved, uh, I will first go through one by one each, each the functionalities that required to solve the machine learning uh, infrastructure problem in the network system. So uh, the first is uh, uh, the, the interface for other network function to get the data analytics like uh, predictions or statistics. So NWDAF provide uh, the necessary APIs uh, so that other network functions can get these uh, 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 predictions like uh, uh, predictions or statistics from the inference service, the machine learning inference service. So second is the data collection. Uh, so NWDF provide uh, interfaces and protocols to collect the data from other network functions and also manage the data efficiently. Uh, and third one is the uh, data storage. Uh, so NWDF provide uh, necessary mechanisms to uh, store the data in a standardized way. It doesn't provide any storage or it doesn't mention what database should be used, but it is uh, basically provide a interface so that uh, other network functions from other vendors can uh, use a standard interface so that um, uh, to store the data, which is collected by the other functionalities. Um, then the third and last, uh, the fourth and last is the training. Uh, so when you say training, there are two types of training that is online training and offline training. What I mean by offline training is the uh, the training which a data scientist uh, does uh, for experiment of their models, their algorithms, and also uh, the the production tra uh, the training for production model, uh, which normally done on a very large set of data. So that is not uh, pro uh, supported by the NWDAF, but uh, NWDAF provide a uh, mechanism for uh, online training. Online training means the on the edge training. 
So for that, it, pro it uh, provides some mechanism to do this online training. So these are the basic functionalities that NWDAF provides so that to solve the machine learning infrastructure problem in a network system. Got it, got it. Uh, so uh, Jikam, can you tell us a little bit more on like, you know, what are the underlying layers as per, you know, 3GPP release 17 standards, uh, which are there in NWDEF or the underlying functionalities of NWDEF? Sure, sure. Yeah, as you mentioned, uh, 3GPP release 17 has defined uh, uh, many sub functions for NWDEF. So there are mainly five sub functions. So uh, these are uh, first is uh, analytical logical function. So this is the component that other network function can get prediction or statistics from uh, that related to a use case. Um, so each use case can be identified by with the analytics ID. I mean, uh, it, it, the standard defines as analytics ID. So each use case will be identified. There will be a unique ID for each use case. The second is the model training logical function. So as we mentioned, uh, uh, and have provide a mechanism for offline training, on, offline, on, online training. Uh, so uh, this is the function that defines that. Uh, so also um, uh, other than uh, training, it uh, provides uh, protocols for how to deploy this uh, um, models, uh, uh, how to deploy this model to the network uh, uh, system. So that basically comes in under the larger picture of model serving uh, in a generic day. Uh, th third is the messaging framework adapter function. So we are dealing with very huge amount of data transfers. So for that, uh, some messaging queue or messaging um, uh, bus is required. Uh, so for standardizing that, uh, uh, NWF provide a, a, a sub function called messaging framework adapter function. And uh, next is the storage. Uh, so for storage layer, it provides a interface, uh, a standard interface for that, uh, which is called the analytical data repository function. As I, um, I mentioned uh, um, previously, it just may uh, provide an interface. It doesn't mention anything about uh, what database to be used. So you can use your own um, uh, uh, databases or storage layer, but uh, over that you will build a, um, uh, a standard layer called the analytical data repository function. Then the last is the data collection coordination function. It is kind of a core for the data collection. So it uh, provides uh, protocols for efficiently uh, collecting and managing this uh, data. So these are the five uh, different sub functions that is uh, uh, defined in release 17 of uh, and, uh, 3GPP. Okay, uh, so that was a very deep and detailed exp explanation, Jacob. So thank you so much for that. So uh, we came to know uh, quite a lot about NWDEF. Thank you, Jacob. Thanks. Thank, thanks, Paolo.